Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Day. I'm Kendra Sheehan, presented by Hercules Tires. We're joined by UTRGV Women's Basketball with head coach Lane Lord in his fourth season, sophomore guard Sarah Bershears, and grad transfer Taylor Muff. Coach, I'm going to start with you. It was a lot of tough losses last season, but they were decided by 10 points or less. What is it going to take this season for you to get those wins and come out on top of those tough matches? Well, I'll tell you what, last year was a pretty difficult year for everybody, not not just UTRGV, but um, uh, we had a great first semester. Um, you know, we really dodged the COVID bullet. Uh, second semester, uh, we missed 46 practices, and we tried to play eight conference games without a practice before them. Uh, so it was really tough uh, on our team to get, you know, chemistry and and uh, really just that practice time to be successful. But you, you could see at times, uh, uh, we we played a uh, very inspired basketball. We we played tough. Uh, we just did not have the conditioning or the reps we needed to finish games. But uh, we're really excited about this year's team. Uh, we've got uh, some experience back and some awfully good newcomers. So uh, we think the sky's the limit with this group, and we're excited to get going. You mentioned team chemistry and COVID nineteen affecting that. How has practice been up until this point to make this team a more cohesive unit headed into the season? Well, we were able to get together this summer and for our eight weeks that we're allowed. And uh, that was definitely a, a point of emphasis here is just to, to build our chemistry, six newcomers, 10 returners, um, and uh, really just get back to fundamentals, get back on the court. Uh, most importantly was the weight room. We missed so much time in the weight room uh, with COVID-19 and all the restrictions with, that we had and all the setbacks we had. So uh, it was very important for us to get together this, this summer and then uh, obviously this fall and, um, you know, staying healthy is our number one goal right now, but uh, you can actually see the chemistry forming uh, each and every day. And um, like I said earlier, this team is, is going gonna, is gonna to surprise a lot of people. Um, we, we're excited about where we're picked because we know we're a much better team than that. And uh, we're just ready to, to get on the floor and show what we can do. I want to talk about the relationship that you have with Taylor Muff, a pretty unique story there that you have known her for a long time. What is it like to finally have her in the program with you? Well, I've been recruiting her since she was 10 years old. Uh, she's a big time athlete out of the, uh, the city of Pittsburgh, Kansas. Her dad, long time basketball coach. Uh, we first met each other as junior college coaches. Uh, he moved to Pittsburgh State University. I believe it was my third year there. We worked together for eight years. Um, so I've known Taylor. I've watched every one of her uh, competitions. She won, uh, I believe, six out of eight state 100-meter uh, hurdles and 300-meter hurdles. She's the all-time leading scorer in Pittsburgh High School history in basketball, uh, volleyball, first-team All-State. If uh, there's All-State um, tiddly winks, I think she'd win in that, too. So um, just a tremendous athlete. She's brought instant um, – uh, leadership to our program. Uh, she's competed at a great high level in, in the Big Sky Conference in volleyball, all-time leading, um, I think, kills and digs and whatever volleyball stats there are. She leads in that too, three-time all-conference performer. So just, uh, just her leadership, her experience and competing at the highest level, uh, we're excited to have her. And she's, hey. my daughter. and she's my daughter's best friend. And my daughter's <laughs> here too. So. I love that. Taylor, coming here after spending four years at Northern Colorado on their volleyball team to come in and play basketball and to play under Coach Lord, nonetheless, what has that been like for you in your transition from volleyball back to basketball? It's been so much fun. It's definitely a different, different change of pace. It's a lot more running. Um, <laughs> but like Coach Lord gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. Like I couldn't pass it up. Um, I technically had my COVID year of volleyball but I figured I had kind of done my due diligence at UNC and I was ready to kind of move on and try something new. And like I said, I got this great opportunity and I couldn't pass it up. So that's why I'm here. Was it always in the back of your mind that, hey, you know, I'm playing volleyball, but I remember those high school days, the glory days playing basketball that you wanted to somehow get back on the court and play collegiate basketball? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, basketball has always been such a huge part of my life. Like Coach Lord said, um, my dad has coached my whole life. So I grew up in the gym. I got to see the competitive side. I got to see the hard side of it, the home life. Um, 
and all of it's just so appealing, like being around sports, being around athletics in general. Um, basketball is a whole culture within itself and just getting to be a part of that is awesome. Have you noticed some of your volleyball skills, whether it's footwork, have helped in the transition back to basketball? Uh, yeah, I would say it's a lot of lateral movement for both sports. Um, I mean, training wise, my body's definitely changed. I've gotten a lot more upper body mass where volleyball is a lot more lower body mass. Um, but yeah, I mean, athleticism in general is just like always trained and both my strength coaches at UNC and here, um, value just movement as a general rather than, um, specifics. And that's honestly helped me more than anything. Sarah, you battled some tough injuries during your freshman campaign, but then when you were back, you were averaging over 30 minutes per game. What is it, what was it like to, you know, get going in the middle of the season? And what did you learn from your freshman year that you can build off of coming into this season? Well, we, we, uh, we got cut off on that question. Kendra, if you could repeat that. Oh, Oh, Sarah, this one was for you. I, I know you had battled through some injuries your freshman campaign, but then when you were able to get back on the court, you were averaging 30 plus minutes a game. How tough was it to get going in the middle of the season? And what did you learn from that that you can take into year two? Oh, freshman year was super tough. It was super frustrating, not only for me, but for the coaches, because they I came in and they knew what I could do and we just couldn't do it. Um, but taking that year, I've learned that uh, we have to take care of our bodies off the court, just as important as we take care of our bodies on the court. Uh, we have to continue to get in the weight room, continue to eat right, all that kind of stuff to try to stay healthy enough to be able to play. Um, but I mean, uh, it was it was fun to finally get back out there. And I'm hoping this year we can finally have a I feel like freshman year wasn't a complete full like normal year. So I'm excited for this year to try to get a complete full normal year. Last season, you were the Vaqueros second leading scorer without Amara Graham and Jordan Lewis. How will your role expand on the floor this season? Can you repeat that again? Sorry, we broke up again. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, you were the second leading scorer on the team last year without Amara Graham and Jordan Lewis. How will your role have to expand on the floor this year? Um, I think I'm just going to have to do a, a better job of leading, um, trying to put the ball in the hall and trying to get my teammates involved in everything. Um, I think that's going to be the most important thing. We have really good chemistry off the floor, and I think that's really going to help on the floor to help us to excel. Um, so I'm excited to, to see the challenge and try to get everybody involved. With those newcomers, how do you feel like they've integrated with this team? I think we've done a great job. We all really, really like each other. Um, they kind of came in and, you know, we've been here since summer, so they came in and we've kind of, felt like family um, right at the beginning. Uh, we do a very good job of like always hanging out off the court. And like we said earlier, it definitely shows on the court and we're excited to show other people. Coach, rebounding and defense, a focus of this team. What's it going to take for your team to be better on the glass and to be better on the defensive side of the ball? Well, I think just uh, this year having, um, you know, 16 players, having that depth, that competition and practice every day is really going to help us. Uh, really limited last year with the COVID-19 uh, situation. So this year we're excited. Uh, we've got uh, some really um, uh, talented returners that have been in the program now two or three years, uh, but we're really excited for some of our transfers as well. Um, but you said it, you hit the nail on the coffin. It's uh, defense and rebounding. And then we really struggle with uh, turning the basketball over last year. So that's been another point of emphasis. And I think we'll improve in all three of those levels and, um, and we're excited. Coach Sarah Taylor, thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm going to turn it over to Michael Navaretti, who's going to lead the rest of the media.